What is up, YouTube? SC Fish Keeping here coming to you today with another fun little video, something a little different for my channel. Sorry, don't mind me. This footage is about a week and a half to two weeks old, so I am going to need to kind of jump in here and correct a few things that my previous self thought was going to happen and uh, have changed. So just roll with it and pretend like I wasn't here. If you watched my last video, then you know that I am now the proud owner of a massive native aquarium, a 150 gallon aquarium that is home to potentially two amazing, awesome, beastly looking smallmouths. Okay, so that part's true. I do have two smallmouth bass, but only one is in the 150 gallon. If you recall from the last video, I had to move another one or the smaller one because it was getting picked on. But uh, I still have that one and the tank for that is coming soon. So anyway. If you remember from that video, or if you have not watched that video, I ran into a little bit of a problem with that tank. Uh, the larger bass was picking on the smaller bass. So I came up with a solution. Again, the solution was to remove the bass and put it in a separate aquarium until I could get that indoor pond and put uh, the big one in there to uh, try and kind of mitigate the aggression using what's known as dither fish. Fantastic idea. Works in a lot of my other tanks. Didn't work this time. Now dither fish are small fast fish that you put into the tank to uh, you know let the aggressive fish kind of chase them around. They're too fast for the fish to get, the big fish to get, so they uh, you know they kind of wear themselves out and then the large bass is not picking on the small bass. Again it didn't work. I'll tell you why in just a second. I'm hoping this works. Uh, if not, I do have a backup plan. Had to go with a backup plan, indoor pond. Where I will move one of these, the smaller or the larger bass, whichever one I think is doing better. I will move them to a new home, which I have a few ideas about as well. Okay, so that was just my hopefully kind of funny way of, uh, updating my plans from even just uh, like I said a week and a half two weeks ago it's all true though I had all these these plans but these bass which are healthy and doing great they've really uh, caused me to change some things and that's where that indoor pond that I talked about before comes in so what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm just gonna show you the footage that I took of me catching these fish and then I'm gonna jump back and tell you exactly what they are how they fit into the new plans with the uh, indoor pond and exactly why my dither fish idea did not work. So stick around to the end of the video for that, but uh, enjoy my first attempt at my own fishing video. We are here today at this secret little lake. My buddy told me about, he said uh, it's a secret, so I can't say where, but uh, we have a plan to catch a few fish and uh, we'll go ahead and throw them in there. All right, so now we're outside, we're fishing. I park and I pull up and my buddy says he already has exactly what we're looking for on the line. And I needed to kind of hurry up, end that intro, get out here so we could see it. So we're gonna go ahead, meet up with them. You know, we'll check it out, see what he caught. Hey guys. Hello. And we're already fishing. I already told him this is your uh, fire spot <laughs> and uh, I was in the middle of an intro and you called and said, I already got one. Get over here. <laughs> First line in and threw it out. You got a bite, then you just took the pole down. So. First cast, you said. So, easy so pretty easy. Right? We got the master angler out here. Can you say hi to the people? Hello. Are you going to catch us the fish for the tank? Show them where that's where we're at. Yeah, let's, can you open the cooler, show them what we got so far? What is it? Catfish. Are we going to take that home and put it in the tank? Mm -hmm. Heck yes we are. So we'll keep fishing, we'll see what else we can get, and then uh, we'll pick it up when we're loading it up. Thank you. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Woo! Ooh, Perfect. Nice. Nice. Good stuff. What else? Um, little bluegills. Little bluegills. Should we take them home? Yeah. 
All right, we'll take them home. All right, fish are loaded up. They're in the back of the truck. I have the cooler going with the bubbler. Uh, so we are gonna go ahead and drive the 15, 20 minutes back to the house, get them acclimated, and we will get them in the tank. So I will see you back at the house. All right, so back at the tank. As you can see, not a whole lot of activity, but the big guy is hanging out right there. Got the cooler with the fish. The little tiny bluegill that we got do like to jump, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, but get like a little cover over the top of it, and we'll get them acclimating. That'll work. All right, fish in there, acclimated. Water temperature is the same as what's going in the tank. So we're gonna go ahead and get them all moved in and then now uh, jump back in once they're in the tank and ready to go. There it is. See it okay? It's a big fish. Yeah, <laughs> stick them in there. Oh, there you go. That's an entrance. <laughs> oh, we got the big old bass out there too. Wow. Wow. It looks huge in there. So there you go. I added a 12 inch channel catfish and four small bluegill. In my head, the bluegill were going to be the dither fish. In my head, they were large enough that the bass would not eat them. He quickly proved me wrong. He ate two of them in a matter of hours. I even fed him before putting them in there just in case he was going to make a snack out of them. And he did. I have one left in the 150 gallon that is doing amazing, eating, taking food before the bass can even get there. And then one in the smaller tank with the smaller bass, also doing great. So I now have two of the bluegill left and the channel catfish who is also doing amazing. Now I mentioned uh, these fish do have a plan in the grand scheme uh, with the uh, indoor pond. The channel catfish will stay in the 150 gallon until he puts on a few more inches. Like I said, he's about 12 inches now, so he's got a little bit of room to grow in there. Uh, from my research, they'll actually do a pretty good job of adjusting to the size of their tank, but people say that about goldfish, and that's not true. So we will watch the channel catfish, and if he gets too big, when he gets too big, he will go into the indoor pond, which is coming soon. The bluegill... I'm gonna leave one in the 150 gallon. He'll do fine in there. And then I actually have plans on setting up another native tank, but you'll see more on that in the future. So these fish do fit into the plans with the indoor pond. The catfish will eventually go into the indoor pond, but we're gonna keep all of them. Hopefully these bluegill don't become more snacks, but that bigger bass is just an absolute beast. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for dropping a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think of these new pets, and thank you to all my new subscribers, I really appreciate those of you that have decided to join me and watch me make videos of my too many fish. So, thank you for watching, and until next time. There's little teeth. Make cheeks. The are right here, I'm holding it. Let's go hunt. Oh, I got it, let's go. It won't, I promise. I got it. I won't let go either until you're ready. Get in there if it's coming and pinch it good, and then it'll be fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's gonna keep you off. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, here you go.